Hello, my beautiful lovelies. How are you today? Well, I hope it is beautiful here in Vermont. It's freezing cold. Literally, I think yesterday it was nine degrees. Yes, a whopping nine degrees. I was cold. <laughs> anyway, hello and welcome. If you are new to the channel, my name is Shamanism, otherwise known as Emily. Welcome. I'm an author, an entrepreneur, a gardener, and I'm here to help you grow anything and everything, including yourself. Without further ado, I think we should jump into the topic of today's video because in my opinion, it's something just so important for honestly everyone to, I think, implement in their life to have a more calm, peaceful, and happy life in the long run, to be honest with you. And this is just one simple hack that I learned that I've been using lately, which is extremely powerful. And thus, I thought, what can I do to help my audience? I can pass this tip along to you guys. Have you ever had it where you're having a good day, you're having a darn toot and good day, and then mm, let's say you see something. <laughs> Let me tell you something first of all. Did you know that our eyes process something like 11, I'm not sure if it's billion or a million, but either way, it's something crazy like 11 million or 11 billion pieces of information get processed by our eyes. Like in a very short span of time. I don't know the exact figure and I don't want to mess it up. So just know that your eyes process like 11 million, 11 billion pieces of information in like a few seconds. That is, that is one sign that we all need to calm our mind. So I'm sure you guys have all come across this. You know, you'll be having a great day and you see something and then your day becomes a bad day, for instance, or or on the opposite side, maybe you hear a song and then all of a sudden you're having a great day. So the subject of this video is triggers, positive and negative triggers. Now you might be asking yourself, why am I talking about triggers? Well, for two reasons. <laughs> How many reasons? Those of you who are in FLC will get that little inside joke. <laughs> How many reasons? Or for that matter, any of our events actually. Anyway, so I'm sure you've all had it both on positive and negative sides that triggers happen. And triggers are basically, they're almost like vestigial organs, but for from your mind. <laughs> if you guys aren't familiar, if you're not as like science nerdy as I sometimes am, vestigial organs means that it's basically things that are left over from the process of evolution. So for us, I believe our tailbones are still technically vestigial because like we don't really need to have that little tailbone. We, if you look at a human skeleton, you'll see on these models that down at the bottom on our tailbone, we actually do still have a little triangular tailbone. Um, that's why if you, well, in my case, I used to ride horses. So if you ever got bucked off a horse or you ever fell off of a horse in a particular way, you probably landed on your bum and that poor tailbone. That's about the only time you realize you have a tailbone so much is when you fall onto it. And boy, does that hurt. But the tailbone itself doesn't actually have any purpose anymore. I don't think anyway, I'm pretty sure that it's vestigial. So anyway, things like that happen over the process of evolution. And so in a way, triggers in my mind are like vestigial in our mind, if that makes any kind of sense to you guys. So the way I think about it is like, it's like when you declutter your house. And I bring that up because I know I was recently talking about it on the channel and something for the sake of wellness. And since we're on wellness, thing, by the way, this is welcome back to you. I forget if it's episode two or three, but one of our brand new episodes of Thirsty Thursdays where we discuss health and everything wellness. And since triggers can affect us both positively and negatively, I thought it was an extremely important topic to discuss, especially right now while the world, <clears throat> forgive my voice, wow. While the world is in such a state of chaos, to be honest, we're in, you know, I'm sure most of, if not all of you have noticed that we're in quite a chaotic state for the last, you know, year and some, and hopefully that state of chaos, maybe, <laughs> will be calming down. But at any rate, that's neither here nor there. The point is that these triggers exist all over the place. Now, why, why am I drawing your attention to this? Because if you can find out what your triggers are, now, both positive and negative triggers, like what I'm inviting you to do is to self-investigate, really, to take this time, you know, it, while we're in lockdown, you might as well, if you haven't already begun this inner journey, begin to look into yourself and find out what are your triggers, what are your positive triggers, and what are your negative triggers? Oh, I remember what I was giving the analogy before. It's like when you declutter your house, you know, you go through and you see, what do I need? What do I use? And what can I get rid of? 
and triggers these these memories whether they're positive or negative you know the thing is that you can work with them you can re um i can't think of the word reprogram <laughs> yourself to um use them to your advantage so that is what i want to share with you guys my powerful seriously i know this sounds like oh what's that gonna do but i'm telling you right now guys i've been using this lately and it's been working better than almost any technique I've used in the past. So I, I felt compelled to share, at least so that you guys can give it a whirl, so that if it has the same results it has for me, your lives can be so much better. So basically what I did was I've been looking inwardly, and inwardly, is that a thing? Anyway, I've been looking inward and trying to dismantle my own mind and see what are my negative triggers. And then to then see if those things are around your house, if they're in your environment, make sure you take them out. Now you might be saying, okay, well, so I took the, took the, the negative triggers out, but now what? Well, then put in some positive ones. Now, this is the part where you might be asking yourself how this actually would work. But listen, it's, it's part of law of attraction. We attract what we are and we become, or not we become, but our environment takes on mm, who we are, kind of. That might seem a little strange to you guys, but on the outside, we really do reflect our insides. So, you know, if your insides aren't sorted out, your outsides probably aren't going to be either. But the reason I bring it up is <clears throat> what you can basically do is surround yourself intentionally, consciously with positive triggers. Now, you might be thinking, well, isn't that just like putting on blinders and only seeing the positive and not the negative? Well, no, because out in the world, in places that aren't your immediately controllable environment, say your home or your hotel or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Places that you're not, you know, places that you don't frequent often. Yes, you're going to probably inevitably run into triggers somewhere, some along in your life. But what you can, what you do, like what you can have control over. And again, this is way more powerful than it might seem. But you start to fill your space, you know, when you've removed those negative triggers, fill your space with positive triggers. For instance, I don't have it around me now, but downstairs where I used to film, <laughs> which is a bit of a mess right now because I'm cleaning my house and everything's kind of taken up permanent residence in there for now, or temporary residence, I said permanent herpeter. Anyway, um, but triggers can really help. So I have taken out some of the negative ones. And for instance, just one example for me was because I envisioned this very specific space for recording in the future or this very specific setup, a better setup, you know, whatever. I One of the things that I've recently learned is a positive trigger for me is flowers. Now it doesn't matter if those are fresh flowers or fake flowers. So what I did was I bought myself a little jar, just a small one, a little jar of some flowers that is a positive trigger for me because one, I love flowers. I'm a gardener, you guys know. I love, <laughs> I love almost anything plant and that's just a straight fact. So, I realized that surrounding myself with flowers, for instance, makes me a happier because I just, mm, I don't know what it is. Honestly, guys, I couldn't put it in one way for you, but I love, for instance, I have roses downstairs right now <clears throat> and I bought them for myself because you know what? You guys deserve it. You should buy flowers for yourself once in a while or whatever it is that makes you happy once in a while. You should just treat yourself to them. And flowers, guys, are something that guys and girls and anybody in between, you know, you guys have the right and, and you should buy yourself flowers from time to time. You're worth it. You have to, we, we all should start treating ourselves like royalty because the fact of the matter is that we only live one lifetime. I think for the most part anyway, most people aren't so lucky that they get to come back to this life and experience all these experiences again. So I want to encourage you to take charge of your life, to take your life by the horns, to really not be afraid of that inner work. I know it can be intimidating because quite frankly, looking inward causes you to see your not so great aspects. And that can kind of suck to take an honest inventory of who you are. But if I can encourage you to do that, it would be to look inside and see just who you are, why we have this time. Because when the world starts picking up, and if you guys haven't noticed, it's picking up fast already. Last year flew by. And if you guys aren't feeling it again, even more so this year, dude, I don't know. Like, are you here? Hello? <laughs> Because time is just, whew, and I don't want you guys to miss out on what could potentially be the best year of your life. Because if you begin to implement things like this, if you start to place purposefully positive triggers in your environment, I know it sounds crazy, but the thing is that what will happen is it logs into your subconscious as being your reality now. And what that says to like your future manifestations 
is that you're continuously taking action or that you're living more as that self that you want to be or in that environment that you'd rather be in. So that's what I wanted to encourage you guys to do was to take a look, take an honest inventory of some, some of your negative triggers and your positive triggers to go through your direct environment, look around and, and remove some of, of, or any, any and all negative triggers that you can get them out of at least your own personal environment that you see from day to day, especially right now, guys in lockdown, that is so important. You know, we're not really able to change much when we're going through day to day in the same four walls, for instance, you know, and change, although it's scary, is also so vital to just keeping life interesting. So take note of your triggers. Take note of your positive triggers. What do you just love and adore? And what makes you think of your dreams? And, you know, what's maybe not serving you? And take that out of your life. So with that, I really hope that you've gotten some value from this video. I hope that, if nothing more, it's at least opened your eyes to, to cause you to think more about what might be affecting your life subconsciously. Because that's the thing. All these triggers, these memories, that's all automatic. And I can't remember who it was yesterday that was speaking about that, but someone in our circle was speaking about how important it is to just realize yourself and just be aware of things and, and consciously choosing things. So with that, do try this extremely powerful thing. It, I know that it sounds like, mm, but listen, our subconscious is for the most part full of weeds. And if you want to start to pull out those weeds and actually just grow flowers inside your mind, which will then manifest into your life, give this a shot. So that's it for me. Please do, if, if you got any value from this, please do share this with some friends. Like it, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> please cultivate that like button, as my friend Epic Gardening likes to say. And uh, please do subscribe because I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, again, to grow you into your best versions. With that, I am looking very much to seeing you guys on the next Sham Saturday, which is in two days. And until then, do cultivate all good things in your life. And remember to always keep on growing. Love you guys lots. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.